All right, this is supposed to be the North Devon coastline. These are mussel sarcomeres, the same thing as these, the exact same thing they came back from asteroid Bennu with, which is these, the sarcomeres, exact same thing as we see here. The, the universe is completely biological. There's just no doubt about it. This right here is what they came back from Bennu with. These are the little heart sarcomeres. There's a layer of membrane, sarcomeres, membrane, sarcomeres. That's what they came back with. Well, guess what? This is what a heart attack system victim looks like right here. <laughs> it's exactly the same. And it is exactly the same as this. Some are bigger, some are smaller. It's time to pay, pay attention to the reality here. It's amazing how close-minded your teachers are. They will not allow you to speak about this. If you do, they'll destroy your life. It's just a fact. I'm sorry. I just, you know, I'm done being kind about this. It's a disaster in our education. It's an absolute disaster. Okay, my friends, this is going to be fun. You, I just told you, there's no sense in just pussyfooting around about this. Muscle looks like this, and it's in layers like this, and like this in hearts, and like this at Benu, where they went out and landed on it and picked it up and brought it back. Let's do a little more investigating, because I'm going to show you some things right here, especially this right here. That's a membrane. And I'll show it to you anatomically, that's what it is. And I believe this was the pleura that surrounded a lung, and that's the mucosal layer of mucus that surrounds the very outside of virtually all your organs. And then you get into these tissue layers, which are the membranes. But this is so huge that in us it would be microscopic, but this everything I deal with is giant things. Well, not everything, but a lot. <laughs> That's pretty giant. This is a membrane. That should only be microscopic. You should be able to look right through it. All these things are biological and the same thing coming back from Benue. All right, I showed you. This was the Benue mission. And we are paying for this. National Science Foundation, Smithsonian. They went out to Benue, picked up this chunk of stuff, brought it back to Earth, and they, boy, we're trying to figure this out. It's going to take us years and years to figure this out. Well, it's quite obvious what it is, because here's what it is right here, and that is heart muscle. They landed on a heart and went deep inside. They didn't realize it when they shot off this gas. It just opened up a crater and it went right down until they hit the muscle. You see this? This is a heart attack victim. These are sarcomeres. They are muscle. The red stuff erodes down into clay, literally red clay. The white stuff is the connective tissue. That's a different substance. It's a hard substance that it is a very um, tensile strength, tenderness. The red stuff is literally red clay when it erodes. In between every layer of sarcomeres, these, is a layer of phospholipid layer, which is phosphates. And that is exactly identical to what they found when they came back from Menu with these muscle sarcomeres. These are these are the same thing we, I just showed you. And these white layers are phosphate lipid layers, which are the membranes between each layer. So you got membrane, sarcomeres, membrane, sarcomeres. And you just go up and up and up just like that. And this one right here is the cut bundle. The sarcomeres run this way to blocks. And that's where you cut the bundle, and they, this is how cardiac muscle weaves in and out. Everything that they brought back has the signature of life. They had the DNA, the uracil, the RNA, the, all the amino acids, basically it was 16 out of 20 at least. I don't, I'm sure they're there. Everything they have. It's, not, it's just a saturated chunk of muscle and blood. 
and this is the heart that it came from. They landed on here. If you know, if you know anybody that's a cardiac surgeon, ask them what this little circle is here and what this is, which is a valve. The blood can come this way. It can come through that center spot this direction. If it pumps backwards, it goes bloop, and it's, it's, it clamps off. This one is just the opposite. It goes this way. So you got your blood, boom, 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 just like that. This one's another huge one here. This is, I think, the tricuspid. All of this stuff is bloody debris. It's just nothing more than bloody debris and, and, and blood cells and so forth. When they landed on here, they went and everything went away and they went zip, way down inside. They didn't expect that and they caught a chunk of muscle. That's a heart. You want to see another one? Psyche is much easier to see. This is very easy to see if you know anatomy, but most people don't. All right, this is the anatomy right here. This is the valves. I just showed you those three valves. Same as the ones here that are on Psyche. Same thing. And the hearts break right here. And they all do the same thing. Right there, there's a layer of red and black blood. Well, red and blue, they, they show it. In the mud fossils, it turns black. And they, the polarities push apart. And the tubing just goes right off the top, and you end up with this. And, that's, and they do. You see it? This is not an anomaly. That's the norm. And the same thing with venue. We saw the, the, the uh, you, you know, the valves. Same thing. They pop right off there. Now, these are pictures from right up there. This is not an artist's rendition thing. This is all from, they went up here and they're looking at this because they, they know it contains a ton of, of, of um, metals. Blood is literally nothing but metals. When, when you evaporate everything, there's just nothing left but metals almost. Okay, so I say that there is nothing but biology. No matter where you are, if you're in space or on Earth, it's all biology. And they say, oh, Roger, how could you say that? That's impossible. I said, well, I just showed you Bennu. I mean, uh, yeah, Bennu. I showed you Psyche. They're hearts. They said, well, there must be other parts. Well, what about iron meteorites? What about how do you explain that? I said, it's very easy to explain. That's an iron meteorite right there. They said, well, how could that's not a body part? And I said, yes, it is. Said, oh, come on. I said, well, you see that black? You see that red? You see all those different colors? Those different crystalline patterns? That thing heated up so hot that it it smelted, just like in a in a foundry. But the blood vessels remained, and the blood remained because it was a liver or a heart, or probably a heart, because it's almost 100% blood, which turns into almost 100% metals, because that's what's in the blood, is metals. There's 26 or more. Well, they claim there's 20 to 25. I saw another study that did 26, and I, I think there's more, because they just are the ones they looked for. All right, they are, the metals right here, these transition metals, are there is a lot of them in your blood. They carry things and bring things back. They have little grabbers on them. They, there's a metal core in the center, and they have what they call ligands, and they, with a little polar bond, grab a hold of little particles, and they bring them with their little magnetism to wherever somebody else wants to take us in with more magnetism. Basically, that's it. That's how your body works. It's, it's a nucleophilic invasion of electrophiles and nucleophiles and so forth. There's the entering group and a leaving group. I know I get too deep with this. Just forget all that stuff. Cancel the previous bulletins. Let's get back to this. This came out of space. It's an iron meteorite. That's blood. Let's take a look, close look up at it. That's blood. That is blood, my friends, and it's inside of the middle of an iron meteorite. And guess what? I have them here, too, with blood in them. Here's one right here. See that little meteorite? The smaller they are, 
the less they cook. That is a lung. That I can absolutely guarantee you of. It even has the spur lock right on the edge, which holds it in place in the body of whatever creature it was in. It's kind of small. But, there's, but that came out of space. So they're big, they're small. Now we're going to see these holes. You see all those little holes? I keep getting all these things, which is not talking about terraforming Mars. They have no idea what Mars is like. Mars is, it was just exactly identical to Earth until it got hit by, by uh, Venus. It tore the whole Mars Varianus, whatever they call it, the big huge crater that goes all the way across Mars, and it wiped it out, stole the atmosphere, destroyed the magnetic field, and left all the mud fossils. They're all over the place. This is metal. This smelted just enough to expose all the little alveoli. These are all, all these little holes are alveoli. All right, that is a lung. That's a, it's, it's, it's the shape of the lung and everything. And I'm going to put it in the microscope and I'll show you this. I think I did, I can't remember now, but I think I did catalase test on this. And it still has that enzyme in here, catalase, which is in every biological thing that, that there ever is because it's, a, it's an oxygen remover. If you have, uh, I don't want to get too deep in it. It's, it takes an oxygen out so that it doesn't damage your body. Reactive oxygen species in your body creates problems. It grabs a hold of it and bubbles it off. Enough on that. You see this? This is the impact site. It just went down and down and down, and it went down a foot and a half or more, and then it, it popped back up. But it, it, it said it was just nothing but like, like a gravelly sort of, which would be the blood cells and the blood tissue, which, has, you know, it's, this is going to be saturated with blood. Hearts are not only inside blood. The whole thing is just a solid ball of blood. And blood has all the metals in it, which they came back with, and it has the sarcomeres. And they went down just enough to pinch off some sarcomeres. They came back with 121 grams of material. There's no question. What I showed you is the sarcomeres. Of that, there is no question. And this is what they came back with when they went deep enough to grab tissue. All the other stuff just blew away. But when they hit the tissue, grab it and came back. Sarcomeres, phosphate surprise, which is the layers. They said they had no idea because when they looked at it, all they could see really was the blood. They couldn't see these phosphates because they're down inside the muscle sarcomeres. They couldn't see them. They're down inside. Or you look it up. You look up this, the whole thing. And that's what the heart attack victim looks like. This is, they have the phosphate layers and they have the sarcomeres. It, it's, and no question whatsoever what we're dealing with. The the anatomy is just, just it is what it is you can't deny what is reality and the same thing with the psyche you can't deny that that's not a crater that's a tube that's a tube these colors are the colors of blood these valves are the valves in a heart this tendon is the tendon that wraps to the muscle in the heart so that it can it's like a big rubber band and it twists and that's what a heart looks like and they came back from Bennu there's a, there's a tendon I talked about and the slurpee just goes away all that, that gooey stuff goes away and you end up with this with the tendon here which is this and then the gooey stuff, which is the red and so forth, this stuff here just blows away with the valves with it. And they all do that. Even the ones they do in autopsies, when the, when the bodies lay around for a while, you know, in storage, and they take them apart, the metals push the, the, the heart apart and this opens right up. It's just a natural polarity thing. You know, I, I don't think I'm going to go a whole lot further with this today. I try to put too much in everything. I showed you the samples from Banyu. I showed you Banyu is a heart. Psyche's a heart. This is the structures of the heart. 
these are the kind of things I'm getting from people all around the world that actually still have blood and they're finding hearts intact. And I, I'm, again, I have to, and this is the separation. This is why they separate the, the two different states of blood. The polarities separate them and the whole plumbing pops off the top. And then you're looking down into the buckets of blood, which is exactly what Phil found in his heart. This one right here, he's looking down into the buckets of blood. He saw that spot. He just tapped it and it opened right up, right along that line, which is the polar line. And where is the top? Phil, where did you go, my friend? Here it is. That's the plumbing going up the top. It's totally, absolutely, 100% clear. And they'd break right along that seam. And nobody's ever known that until I figured it out. It's iron banding. So I'll take credit for it. Thank you. And uh, this it's nothing but a big bag of blood. And it's covered by a big bag of blood that has all these little vessels and and uh, muscle sarcomeres. This is nothing more than the, the feeding the muscle. And the muscle is in here doing all of its contortions. Yeah, we're going to get into it deep next time. But I just showed you this is nothing more than a membrane. I got the microscope cooking. I'm going to start a new video, but I'm not going to show it in this video. And you say, well, if that's a, a membrane, you'd have to have a gigantic artery and so forth. Yes, well, we do. Here's one right here. That's the artery walls. That's the size of the artery. I have it around here. Here it is. Ugh. Here it is right there. I got to buff this up, but that's all still blood in there. That's all still blood. And these walls, I have another one that I got from a guy in, uh, uh, from Phil in, um, I think he's in Kansas. But anyway, that's the artery, and that's it's as big as my arm. And this is a membrane, and I, I when you see it in the microscope, it's, it's, it's undeniable. And I believe this was a lung, and underneath here, you see all these little holes, here, these little round spots? This is where it's getting into the alveoli. Those little red spots are from the alveoli in the lung. Again, this is going to be in the microscope. This blows your mind. This is a lung came through space it just didn't it wasn't big enough to get so hot that it, it smelted completely into a little ball of metal the the structure is still here but the again I, this is something we have to to investigate i'm going to do it anyway so again all of that stuff and, and a much more i get too too carried away people lose interest and oh, well, here's the one from Phil. Look, look at this. That again is the artery. And all of those levels, you see those layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers, and layers all the way up to this. This is all how many layers are in the membrane. And that's true, there is. They know this. This is not a mystery. You see all those layers? That's the, and that's what he found. You know, they, I, I think we could see more than they can see because there's probably more here than they are aware of. Virtually all the stuff that I have found they, they, is more detailed than they thought, especially the fluid-filled highway, which is here. That's, well, anyway, I'm going to start all over again. Well, I'm going to start and go through this in, in so much detail. It, it can't be missed. I've already done it so many times, but I'm going to do it again. Until somebody starts saying, we, we should look at this. The earth is nothing more than a pile of <laughs> creatures that died basically in a, in, in a great flood. It was a cataclysm that Venus almost hit earth. Velikovsky detailed it completely in worlds in collision, and it is scary. And it hit Earth almost and bounced off, boiled the oceans, and created all of these mud fossils as it stirred up the silicates and then went around and hit Mars. So I'm, we're gonna, the next video is going to cover all that stuff. All right, stay tuned. We're, we're, gonna, we're just going to make this so obvious that 
it's, it's kind of a, well, I don't, I don't want to throw any mud at anybody. Let's just keep showing what I'm showing. All right, I love you all, bye.